Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Vivs from Slide Nerd here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the spinner in Android Studio and how to get it working. So I have written down a series of steps for making this program work. Step 1, create the data source. So you can use the data source in Java or you can make them in XML. For now, I'm going to create the source in XML. Going to strings.xml, I want to create a string array here. I'll give this string array a name so that I can refer to this in Java. So at this point, I have finished adding seven days of the week inside my string array. Going back to our main activity, that completes our step one. Now we need to add this spinner inside our main layout. So going to activity underscore main dot XML, going to the design tab, see the widget section. There's a spinner right here. Drag and drop it top left. I'm using a relative layout for the root, which I have not modified actually. Android Studio has pretty much done everything for me. So this completes the part of adding the spinner. I could directly link the values to the spinner from here by using this Android entries attribute, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I will use an adapter and I'll show you why. Next thing, get a reference to our spinner. Initialize the reference. Create an adapter that will manage the data. I'll say array adapter. Creating the adapter varies a bit if you're using XML for data source. So I'm going to say array adapter dot create from resource. This method is going to allow me to create the adapter from the resource. First parameter, the context. Second parameter, the array is going to be r dot array dot days. The third parameter contains a reference to the layout that you want to use for putting each item in place. So that would be android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner item. And after this, I'll simply in assign this to a reference of array adapter by saying array adapter. Now I need to set the adapter on the spinner. So I'm going to say spinner dot set adapter. So at this point, everything is almost in place, but when the user selects an item, nothing happens. So let's actually go ahead, handle the event when the user will select some item. For that, I will implement a listener, which I call as the on item selected listener. This will give an error because there are certain methods in this listener that we need to implement. So I'm going to say alt enter, implement the methods, click OK. On item selected will be called every time the user tries to select something. For now, we will put a toast message here by saying toast dot make text. So here I want to show what the user selected. How will I do that? The second parameter view contains a reference to the text view that is currently selected by the user. So I'm going to typecast it by saying text view, press alt enter here, perform the typecasting. And now I can directly access it by saying my text dot get text. <clears throat> Simple. I had this view and I converted that to a text view, which it actually is. And then I got the get text method on it to display what text was selected by the user. You can also display the position for that use int i. Okay, there is one more thing that needs to be done before running it. It is to actually set the listener by saying spinner dot set on item selected listener. This is important because the spinner needs to know who is responsible for handling events. In our case, we tell the spinner that this activity is responsible for listening to the events on the spinner. Let's run this. So here my emulator is up and running. And as you guys notice, the adapter has used a layout which was the android.r.simplelist item one to put all the elements in place click on wednesday and the on item selected method gets triggered and the toast view, toast text view runs and the toast displays the message so hopefully that does it for you guys if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day